All right, the 103rd running of the Indianapolis 500 hasn't even arrived yet. However, the action has already garnered some worldwide attention. It's already very exciting. One of the most famous drivers on the globe will not race come Sunday. Our Megan McEwen has a story of how a big underdog in Indianapolis knocked off a top contender. A crash Friday, little to no sleep for the team all weekend in order to get the car ready for qualifying, and a wild ending to set the back row. Kyle Kaiser is officially in the 103rd running of the Indianapolis 500. Very relieved. Obviously, it didn't really feel real until probably this morning when I woke up, but, um, you know, we're back to work now. Qualifying brought out more drama than a daytime soap opera. A David and Goliath battle for the ages. Two time Formula One champion Fernando Alonso bumped out of the field of 33 by Junco's Racing's Kyle Kaiser. That's a great headline, but I mean, no matter who it was, you know, we wanted to be in the show. It, it definitely made for a great story that he was the guy. And I, I always looked up to Alonso. He's probably one of the greatest drivers of our era. And that just shows how challenging this place really is. No matter your resources or budget or who you are, you know, this place owes nobody any favors. So I, I went out there, did the best I could. The team worked so hard to put that car out there. So I think that. In this case, we just, it was our day. Not only is Kyle Kaiser driving for a small team in Yunko's Racing, he also has yet to land a big time sponsor for his ride. Despite playing the role of underdog, Kaiser still feels his team has a shot of taking the checkered flag. We've seen this place kind of picks its winners, right? So if we go out there and we just keep it clean and take it to the end, if we're in the right place at the right time, I think we can find ourselves at the front. Can David conquer another Goliath? We find out on race day. Megan McEwen, Wish TV News 8. A great story. It is a great story. Of course, of course, there are only six more days until the 103rd running, third running of the Indy 500, and I think he might pick up a sponsor. It looks like he already got somebody. You know? At least somebody's uh, painting the car because he was Thinking running that one graphic. before, and it was uh -huh. completely white. Well, <laughs> I think he might have a good shot. Yep.